Hello, hello, welcome to Spain and another Evo Diary. Um, self shot, I'm afraid. Uh, so short on production values. High on charm, though. And this is the brand new Ford Focus RS, one of the most eagerly anticipated cars of the year. So we're going to go for a quick drive and I'll give you a few of the hopefully salient details and the things that I've discovered over the last 24 hours or so with it. And yes, we might even try the drift mode. Who knows? Remember to subscribe to Evo so that you don't miss out on facts like this about my new favourite Spanish radio station. This is Flesh FM, by the way. Amazing. We'll turn it off. So, Ford Focus RS, the facts are that it's got 345 brake horsepower, 347 pounds foot of torque. It's got a 2.3 litre inline four turbocharged motor and it will do 0 to 60 miles an hour in 4.7 seconds. Of course, the biggest news is that it's got four wheel drive. There were rumours before the launch of each of the previous Focus RSs that they would be four wheel drive to reflect the WRC cars, but no such luck. Now though, there is a bespoke system which has a rear drive unit capable of proper torque vectoring between the back wheels, thanks to a couple of clutch packs. So the modes that I've got, I'm in normal mode at the moment, and it's fine, the steering is actually nicely weighted, it's, it's a bit, bit light possibly. The engine, it's fairly mute, not particularly special I have to say. So the ride, slightly bumpy, a bit pattery, but basically absolutely fine. And I put it into sport. Now this is the mode that really, this is the, the road driving mode. We've got two beyond that, we've got track and drift, but really they are not for the road. Sport, however, is very good. The steering weights up a bit, but it feels natural. It doesn't feel sort of claggy or horrible. It feels like a hydraulic system. Uh, so in sport mode adds a bit of weight to the steering, as I said. It also sharpens the throttle response and it gives you some artificial pops and bangs from the exhaust, as you can hear when I lift off. And it does it religiously, literally, as soon as you press the sport button, it doesn't have to get hot, it doesn't have to do, it's just, there you go. You get the pops and bangs, which are quite entertaining. Coming up the hill at night, it really did sound like some sort of special stage, and I, I, I quite like it. So, what is the Focus RS like to drive? Well, it's very good, you'd be pleased to hear. It's got a wonderfully reactive front end, and the car just feels all of a piece through direction changes like this. It's nice, you really get a good sense of where the front end is, and it always feels like the rear is just trying to help you around corners once you're on the throttle. Even off it, to be honest, when you turn in, it's instantly there, and then you get on the throttle. That's in sport mode, so it will just help guide you around the corner. I like it. I like this car. Independently from the drive modes, you can switch the adaptive dampers between their normal and sport settings via a button that's slightly awkwardly placed on the end of the indicator stalk. The sport setting really isn't for the road, however, as even on smooth Spanish asphalt, it takes jiggling to an unacceptable level on the Richter scale. It really is only bearable for about 30 seconds. One setting that I spent a little longer investigating, however, was the drift mode. So the drift mode, hopefully you can see some footage now of what it, what it looks like. It's slightly an, an odd feeling. You turn in aggressively and then you just need to be pretty brutal with the throttle, to be honest, and you keep the steering straight, which is, again, a slightly curious feeling. It doesn't really feel, well, it does feel rather artificial. Um, but given an empty track, if you can find one of those, it won't be on a track day, but if you can find somewhere, then it's obviously a lot of fun. The engine has all its torque, 347 pounds foot from 2000 RPM, and it's a really gutsy feeling engine. It might not be the most special unit, but it's very, very effective. Another facet of this car that's certainly worth mentioning are the brakes. 350 millimeter vented discs at the front with four piston Brembo calipers and they've been absolutely fantastic. Really nice pedal feel and it just helps you drive the car as this car wants to be driven. So being really quite aggressive on the way into corners, hooking that nose in. The Michelin Pilot Super Sports 
we know they're a fantastic tyre and there's no change there with these. You can get the Cup 2s, but I, you know, if you're doing a lot of track work, fair enough, but I can't really see why you'd want them for the road because it just feels nicely balanced with the Super Sports on. So there we go, that's the new Focus RS. Perhaps the biggest compliment I can pay is that it feels like a proper big brother to the Fiesta ST, a car that we absolutely love. The Focus ST is, well, it's, it's a bit of a disappointment to be honest. The RS has that same lovely feeling as the Fiesta ST of being all of a piece and all control weights are absolutely there and it just feels fun and up for it and yeah, you want to drive it hard all the time and that's good. If you've got a couple of minutes, why not watch the onboard lap in a Fiesta WRC car by clicking on the left? Alternatively, if you're wondering what else you could buy with a Ford badge, might we suggest having a look at our Mustang video on the right? And of course, as ever, in perpetuity, please don't forget to click on the small button to subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends too. Sign your cat up as well while you're about it. The more, the merrier.